Young and the Restless spoilers reveal a new war is brewing, and Lily Winters is in the middle of it. She's preparing for a meeting with Victor Newman, who has secretly orchestrated a plan to take down Billy Abbott. Lily knows that Billy, who has been both an ally and an enemy, needs to be removed from her path if she's to have any chance of moving up the ladder. But what she doesn't know is that she's also caught up in a much larger web of intrigue. Victor, with his expertise and manipulative skills, has convinced Lily that they're working together, that she can take control of Chancellor once the plan is complete. However, Victor has never been one to trust easily. While he promises Lily the top job at the company, the truth is that he's preparing to hand control to Nikki Newman, who hasn't been in the spotlight for a long time but has always been one of the most important cards in Victor's arsenal. Lily, with her determination and self-belief, doesn't realize that she's just a pawn in Victor's game. She thinks she can control every situation, that she's smart enough not to fall into his trap. But in Victor Newman's world, no one can truly stand up to him without paying a price. Their meeting is just the surface of a deeper conspiracy, where Lily's every move is calculated. When Lily enters Victor's office, she can't believe that his sweet words are just a mask for a terrible betrayal. Their conversation revolves around the next step in the plan to take down Billy. Victor, with a cold and cunning gaze, gives Lily a series of instructions, making her believe that she is truly in control. However, Victor's every word carries another meaning, a manipulation that Lily cannot see right away. While Lily is caught up in the power struggle, Daniel is faced with an unspeakable personal tragedy. Heather, the woman he once loved, has died, and it is Daniel who has to identify her body at the morgue. The sight not only leaves him stunned but changes his entire world. Daniel has been through many hardships in life, but nothing can compare to the sense of loss he is feeling. He tries to push his emotions away, wanting to face this shock alone. But the truth is that the pain is too great and sooner or later, Daniel will have to share this with his loved ones, especially Phyllis, his mother, who has always been there for him in his darkest moments. When Daniel informs Phyllis of Heather's death, the pain explodes. Phyllis, with her fierce maternal love, immediately goes into protective mode. Not only is she heartbroken over Daniel's loss, she is also determined to find out the truth behind Heather's death. And none other than Sharon Newman becomes her number one suspect. Phyllis cannot contain her emotions when she runs into Sharon at the GCAC club. The relationship between the two has long been filled with tension and hatred. And now, with Heather's death, Phyllis finds a reason to confront Sharon again. She accuses Sharon of causing Heather's death, blaming her for putting Heather in a situation she cannot escape from. Sharon, with her wisdom and sophistication, immediately realizes that she is facing a dangerous situation. She pretends to be shocked by Phyllis' accusations, even showing sympathy for Phyllis' family's pain. But deep down, Sharon knows that this is a game that she needs to play carefully. She can't let Phyllis get the better of her, and this is just the beginning of a long battle between the two. As the confrontation between Phyllis and Sharon becomes increasingly tense, Nick Newman steps in. He knows full well that both women have their reasons for hating each other, but he also understands that things are getting out of hand. Nick pulls Phyllis away from Sharon, trying to calm her down and calm the situation. However, Phyllis is too distraught to listen, and she can't stop thinking about Heather's death and Sharon's involvement. Phyllis leans on Nick for comfort, but Sharon, from afar, is secretly plotting a counterattack. Cameron, a man with considerable influence over Sharon, may be pushing her to eliminate Phyllis forever. In Sharon's mind, if Phyllis is gone, Nick will have no one else to turn to but her. And so, their lives will return to the old days, when Nick and Sharon were the perfect couple. While Lily continues to work for Victor, unaware that he is using her, Phyllis and Sharon are locked in a never-ending war. The dark plot is getting more and more complicated, and no one knows who will win in the end. Subscribe to Yonder for the latest news.